Well-seasoned guide Daryl Gilbert joins the Ongaro's Hired Hunt team and pulls off an amazing combo hunt despite the hottest day of the season. Daryl's super dog Deke also helped out on a duck hunt as Jason set the upright blinds at the edge of a big chunk of marshy water during the heat of the late afternoon. I take a group to a rolling 640 acre field to hunt some very confused ducks during a rapid weather change. Here we go again. I'm Claudio Ongaro and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was 23 years ago. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. We're gonna go up here to uh, Gerald's farm and uh, we got a uh, duck spec Canada combo. Not a ton of Canada's, a few. And uh, lot, there was lots of specs and a pile of ducks. So hopefully it's stuck. We shot pretty close to it this morning. Our, the birds we shot at this morning should have ended up in there. We'll see what it looks like tonight. That is a target for tomorrow, so we'll find out what happens. Yeah, there's nothing happening here yet, which is kind of strange. And I hope their program hasn't changed, but it looks like it might have. There's a couple other fields close that they may have jumped to. We got ducks coming out. They're coming out of the puddle, but are they gonna, are they gonna end up being in here? Uh, this morning they were they were in here good. Last night they were really in here thick. Right now we don't have anything going on, but we haven't seen a lot of birds flying. So until that happens, we'll hang in here and see what's going to go on. There's a field just up the road where they may be going into another pea field. Like there's too many. There's I don't know one four pretty close pea fields right here. But it, it's early, so until we know for sure what's going on, we'll just watch these ducks, see, see if they do go down. They may not, they might just swirl around and come back in here, so we'll find out. Another half an hour, we'll know. Just watching this field here tonight and uh, been watching this one for a while and it's actually looking really good right now. Got birds coming from multiple roosts, uh, specks, canadas, ducks. Ducks are puddling on this little pond to the northeast of the field. Canadas coming from the southwest, southeast, and then specks coming from the northeast. It's shaping up pretty good right now to be a good morning hunt. Canadas are coming in small bunches. Perfect. Threes and fours and twos and tens. Dropping right in there really quick. They're just giving it up easy this field. They've been in there for almost a week. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, man, the specs are doing it. They're flipping upside down, dropping right in there. They can be a little tricky, but uh, there's enough Canada's in there to make up our geese. It's looking looking really good. So these, these uh, geese may have changed the program a bit. I mean, I'm only uh, oh, about a half a mile away from uh, the target field and I just seen a bunch of geese come out of the roost and it looks like they're going into a baled pea field over here. They've been in this field before, but I don't like seeing them for the first time somewhere having to hunt it, but uh, if, they, if they're, oh yeah, the roost is full of birds and it's a day roost, it's not a night roost, so. We'll keep an eye on this and see what's going on. See, I gotta stop and see what the heck it is if it's honkers or if it's specs. It's honkers and some specs. I don't know what else is in the field. And we don't have permission on this field yet, so. 
it may or may not work anyway. We'll go see if we can get permission on it right now. Brad, Brad's going to uh, look at a puddle hunt that we know is good. He just picked another hunt up on a uh, field north, north of my location here where I'm at. So we're starting to get a little bit of control in this hectic night and hopefully it'll just keep getting better from here. Claudio gave us the go for this hunt in the morning. Brad's got a good combo hunt lineup as well. Both field hunts for the new groups coming in. Pretty excited to hunt this one now. It's been a while watching it uh, build up to good numbers, but just a duck tornado going on. Late evening, really hot day. It was almost 31 degrees today, but uh, the ducks are feeding heavy tonight, which is good. We'll get out there in the morning and pay them a visit. Holy, it's dry out here. There we go, the pin is in. A little bit of extra effort, but uh, we're good for the morning. Now we're just cutting some fresh uh, poplars, actually. Cover up the uh, blinds a little better. It's been so hot here the last few days that uh, we really just have to get some fresh cover pretty regularly. The, the leaves dry up, There's, it's just really dry and hot. So replace it with some fresh stuff and we'll get those birds in a little tighter, finish better. We're just setting up a side shoot here out of the big bush blind. Uh, this pea field has virtually no cover. I don't know if it's just the wind that's carried a lot of it away. We're gonna set up a, basically a big J and uh, take them on from the side. Just the way the roosts are and the way the wind is right now, it's gonna be the most effective for us this morning. We're gonna mix hunt here. We've got some, uh, some Canada's, some Specs, and uh, a bunch of Mallards and Pintails using this field. Been watching it for a long time now, but uh, it's finally taken shape into something that uh, we made into a good target. Yeah, we're, we'll finish getting set up here and get at these birds some more. Oh, hey, we're at uh, my duck hunt. It actually is uh, kind of a smaller combo, but uh, we're gonna back up Daryl. Daryl went out this morning and he shot uh, close to his 40 Canada geese, uh, limited geese, and then uh, he was a little light on the ducks. In my hunt here, I got you know three, four hundred ducks, and they're puddling on, a, on along the fence line on the north fence line. So, and then coming out and feeding with the geese, we didn't really want to. Uh, 
hunt this because we don't want to wreck the goose option is either, but being the puddle far enough away and typically the ducks will come out of the, the, the day roost and hit the puddle earlier, probably even before the geese will start coming. So I can get in there and, uh, and shoot our ducks before the geese come. Plus being a section, they're feeding kind of in the middle. We should be far enough away. So we're gonna drive in right now and uh, check out the puddle and, and see where to hunt tonight and, and go from there. Okay, the slough is a little tricky because it's long and narrow. And there's a fence line that runs right uh, between it. I don't like it being this long. It's kind of a crapshoot, either this end or that end. The birds have been kind of throughout this end, but uh, I think what will happen is they're going to decoy. They're going to see Robo Duck and come in. So we'll stay on this side of the fence. It's a little easier. The hunters don't have to cross the fence with all the equipment and blah, blah, blah. So uh, I've got a good spot down here that will uh, shoot them out of the boxes, or I can even put the willow blind in here as well, too. It's a hot day, it's supposed to be 33 degrees today. Was it September the 7th? Crazy, so it's gonna be a little tough hunt. We're gonna have to bring some sunscreen and mosquito spray, so. That's the plan, pin is in, we're on for tonight. What? You get all those birds? Well, we're a little short on ducks this morning, but uh, we ended up with 36 geese, 11 ducks. Uh, not a bad morning, you know. Tough conditions right now, really hot. It's gonna be over 30 degrees today and uh, zero wind. The birds could really just slide us whatever direction they wanted to, but uh, 36, 11, we'll get the guys out this afternoon on a duck hunt. Uh, yeah, off the J for the afternoon hunt. We'll have a good day on our hands. We're back at the uh, puddle hunt after Daryl this morning. It's a pea field that the birds have been feeding in, but we're gonna intercept them at the pothole. It's a long, skinny deal. We got a south wind, so we set up on the uh, far south end. We, uh, we're gonna hunt out of the big bush tonight. It's right there, you might not even be able to see it, but tall cattails, there's other clumps of uh, willows around here. It's so hot today too, if we were to use layouts, we'd be sitting and baking like turkeys in the oven. So there's nice shade in there for the hunters and for Deke. It's a pretty tall grass around here. So he asked if he could take the dog out tonight. And his name's Deke. <laughs> He's a four year old yellow lab. Uh, trained him myself. He's been hunting since he was a couple months old. Uh, a lot of experience under his belt, guiding and uh, just chasing everything, waterfowl across almost all the seasons around. But, uh, he loves it, he lives for it. <laughs> it's 33. I'm sweating, I got neoprene waders on. Yippee, welcome to the world of duck hunting. Ready, 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 go, 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 go. Watch these three, don't move. Don't get ready, don't. Go, go, go! Get ready, get ready, go, go, go! Oh yeah, if they work like that, we're laughing. Look at these three. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it was a good goose hunt. You guys would be just smashing them right now. They're coming oh, yeah. in just with the clothes out there. Perfect flights. <laughs> oh, go, go, straight up! Get it deep. Oh no, boy. Come. Heel. Yeah, bro. Come. Good boy. Well, we just lucked out. We got bonus geese. Just killed uh, the rest of uh, Darrow's limit. And uh, so it's a full limit of Canada's today. We had a very good uh, caller, and it wasn't me. Stop, Seth. Don't Seth. Five hundred and forty five yards. So that means you're even further than that. Huh. What I'm doing right now is I got I've got some ducks here. It's a very big field. So I'm using a combination of the the terrain map 
and my GPS to pinpoint exactly where they are. And then I'm gonna go up the road, and I'm gonna triangulate, make sure I get the line, and then I'll know exactly where they are. So I mean, if we need this hunt, I can literally just go in there and, and, and hunt it based on what I have on my phone without even going in there. I mean, I could go put the pin in the ground. I see enough going on, so. And there's definitely enough, enough ducks there right now. So I'm just gonna go have a look. And then we do have some other stuff going on. For example, Jay is at, uh, I think he's got 20 ducks right now. I think, I don't even know exactly how many he needs. I had to run to the city today to get some coolers. Um, but um, I think he might be just a few short. He finished up the guy's geese too. Jeff was at 10 geese. He forgot his phone in the truck. Imagine that. And then, uh, and then, uh, so I got a text from one of the hunters. So I don't know exactly what's going on over there. They should be getting him. He was on a big spec hunt. And then um, Daryl's in on a combo for the morning, and the guys are trying to put something together. I've got tomorrow's afternoon covered, so I think we're we're good. We're styling right now. But that can all change. Uh oh, phone call. That can all change right now. Well, <laughs> we had about 50 show up. We killed 20 of the 50, so it wasn't too bad, but uh, real warm day. Those ducks just stayed on the on the uh, day roost and they didn't come out. What do you do? But hey, then we got three bonus geese tonight. And so that finished off their goose limit for the day too. So that was, that was it, especially over a pothole. That was neat. They came over behind us and swung up and boom, they all, all three of them came down, so it was good. Well, we didn't lose Deke. <laughs> Thanks, Daryl, for letting us use Deke tonight. He did awesome. Um, everything worked out good. He listened to me. Great dog. We'll be using him again. How many ducks do I have to shoot? You ended up with all your all your honkers on a duck hunt. Nice work, by the way. You need 22. 22. So we had to pull a, we ended up having to pull a switch this morning because the, the combo hunt that we needed, we don't need anymore. Right. <laughs> well, that's good. It is, so I gotta go hunt the confusing ducks. Well, I had a combo hunt. It's just the ducks went to the field three quarters of a mile away. They didn't get the memo. They got it, but they switched it during the night. Mm -hmm. How is yours looking? Lots of ducks, there's lots yeah. of ducks. I'm gonna go back and have a look at it right after we do this. So yeah, it's looking good. You guys happy? Heck yeah. yeah, yeah Even you? The 200 geese I had, they all come back and they all did. Perfect. Yeah, well, it is, it's great, but you know, you're thinking you're gonna get all these ducks and no ducks. Ducks aren't feeding. All right, Barbara doll. All yours, Barb. Okay. You're gonna be a busy girl. Are you done? We're done. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You got your gloves? I got my gloves. Good. All right. Well, I have fun. High five. Inside there you out. go. You're getting better at the five. Five. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna have that cooler in there. Thanks for cleaning okay. that track, and then we'll put that back. We had, a, we had a cooler go opening day of all, of all things, so we needed more cooler space. So I bought one of these for downstairs and another one for the shops. So we had lots of, lots of cooler space for the clients and for Alberto and his groceries, so we're good. But it's just more drama in the middle of the day, you know? We'll get it done, though. the beaks in there, that's the, that's the ducks digging. And if you walk this way a little bit, you'll see a feed line, like no peas, now the peas start. See this? A nation divided, chickpeas, no chickpeas. All right, so I'm just trying to clean up uh, Mel's hunt from this morning. He ended up with all of his geese and I believe 10 ducks, which means we have 22 ducks to go. We're set up right here, right now on the feed line. There's no peas on that side. Peas on this side. I mean, it, you know, I got birds moving already. As soon as this wind kicked up, birds fired. So especially the speckle bellies. I'm anticipating the ducks to still hang up, hang tight a little bit, give us enough time to set up. And it's early. With this heat, they shouldn't be flying. But basically, five layout, four layout blinds, 
point them downwind, a bunch of uh, Bigfoot decoys. I'll put some silhouette duck decoys in the hole, a few robo ducks. Hopefully, wrap it up. Go spot. What the heck, man? They're stealing stuff from your bag. Oh, yeah. What do you have there? Cookies? Cookies from the kitchen. <laughs> Syrian nuts. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Okay, hold tight, hold tight. Drill him, guys, drill him, drill him. Oh, wow, nice shooting, boys. That's fine. You guys want it, you guys want it over and go for cocktails that quick? <laughs> nice shooting, gentlemen. Ready? Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him. Right up the middle. Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him. Nice. <laughs> this is fun. Get ready? Mm -hmm. Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him. It was raining ducks. Almost a little too close for you guys, I think. Isn't that sweet though? Right side. Get ready. These ones ready, Mallard? Drill them, drill them, drill them, drill them. Nice shot. Get ready, get ready. <laughs> Just don't pick a duck, pick a beak. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Who's gonna kill it? John, your side, John. Nice, nice shot. Nice. Nice shot, guys. And that is a wrap. The hunt was fantastic. We, did, we limited out our geese in the morning and we just finished our ducks. All right, so I wrapped up the, a perfect day for these guys. They needed 22 ducks, that's done. Their first time up, I'm sure they're having an absolute stellar time. Today was just a perfect day. Jay needed 11 geese or 13 geese. He wrapped that up, he was done at six. 6.30, I'm done, it's a wrap, we'll both be spotting. We've had just a perfect day, awesome.